Hey bye, Thomas here. And if you saw the fire that I posted in the beginning part of the video, that was last night. This is the next day in the afternoon at like four o'clock. So pretty impressive. Uh, the fire that we had here last night was was impressive. All I did is I just kicked some of these pieces back to get to them to, ah, together into the middle here and started them back up. Today's video is, now look at this. Since my dad was here, we cleaned up a lot space out here <laughs> i had logs like all over here so pretty impressive uh, the kids right now are going through where i had the fire over there I moved over here also the past few weeks this is what happens when you run a blade literally to the end of its life uh, like i said i sharpened my blades five to six times well after six times you end up with this i think i blew up i don't know six or seven blades <laughs> the past week or so but they're towards the end of the life and I run them till they blow up just what I do. So this right here is the log I'm going to be cutting on today. If you see or hear that beeping noise, that's Tommy with the metal detector. I went through this very large cedar log here. It's for a customer down the road. And when a large cedar like this shows up, I'm almost certain that there's going to be metal in it. Now we've run this little uh, metal detector over it. We haven't found anything. But that's not to say there's something not in here because it only reaches in about four inches. As you can see, the external portion of this log is pretty nasty with all these knots and everything. This is actually going to be a very interesting log to cut because it bells out so much with the, the knots and everything down here and it's, and it's tapered down down there. The funny thing is I'm cutting this into, if you can believe this, like 1x4s, maybe some 1x6s, some smaller stuff. It's going to have lots of knots. It's going to be looking very unique everything, but this is going to be an interesting cut to get this down. Also, same customer brought this, brought the uh, American chestnut. I kid you not, down here in southern Mississippi, behind that pile over there, I have some American chestnut. Now, it's not that large, but it is, in fact, American chestnut, so it will be definitely a video in and of itself. And it's, it's a small log, but I've never cut it before. It'll be a first, and I'm very looking, very much looking forward to that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this onto the sawmill and see what she has on the inside. Hopefully, we won't find any nails and such in there because the blade I have on there, the only thing I cut up the other day was some white oak with it, and it was uh, only a 12 by 12 can, so it should have plenty of life left in there, and we'll see. Now, this one right here, one last thing, this is what it's going to be. It's going to be like almost like a tiger pattern. It's going to be the yellow and the red offset. I've seen this a lot down here in Mississippi. So look forward. Stand by. Well, the, the log is on there. And again, it's pretty gnarly. The amount of sticks and stobs and everything else coming off of this. I got to make sure that stuff like this doesn't protrude past. And it's really close. So I might actually have to get the chainsaw on this. Because when I push this over, it's going to be pushing up against here. So I've got another inch or so. So yeah, I'll have to take that off. This one here is actually touching, so that's that should be good. And on the end piece down here, it looks like I'll be okay because I'll have uh, uh, this pushing up against here. I might need to tighten that chain up a little bit. Maybe not. So, gnarly cuts on this log right here. Although, even though it's belled out pretty far at the bottom, based on the way that the branches over here hit, it's actually pretty level. I might only bring this up slightly. To tell you the truth, I don't know if it's gonna lift up because of where that knot is right there. Yeah, it actually, I don't think it will. Cause I mean, that's gonna be about max height anyway. So I'm gonna cut out where she is right here. And yeah, we'll see. Hey, if you saw the beach video the other day, that was actually a really fun job to cut. Yeah, all my beach pieces over there and some poplar. Thought that turned out really nice. So check that video out. That American beach is pretty beautiful wood. I'm liking the way the spalt looks. I cannot wait to start working that. I'm hoping that it dries pretty quick and easy. Again, it was an old log, but really looking forward to that. So, yeah, wish me luck. We're going to go and throw it on time lapse. Hopefully we don't find any metal surprises in here. <laughs>
this is like the ultimate whittling down of a log. <laughs> you can see just the massive knot sections that were on here. And this is actually gonna be turned right now. I've got these in four by whatever cans. That's four inches wide on both of them. It's gonna turn this all into one by. I think this is actually gonna look pretty nice. We wanted to use these to make little furniture pieces and stuff like that with all these knots. The only thing I'm worried about is kind of like the structural integrity of these. Uh, the slabs turned out pretty nice. I've got some decent slabs over there. There's a couple slabs down here as well, but fire's still going. I think these are going to turn out pretty nice. The uh, the wood, I'm I'm literally so surprised I did not hit any bullets or any nails. Now this cedar tree is actually not that old. Look at the growth rings, it's actually a, a pretty fast growing cedar tree. But we're going to go ahead and just see how fast we can kind of run through this. Now the blade has a little bit of dullness to it now. I've gone through some dirt and stuff like that, but we'll go ahead and cut through here. i just got to be careful. Uh, I'm going to actually have to cut this because I'm going to run the risk of hitting that. I won't, whenever my blade will stop cutting, I won't see the sawdust. I'm going to run the risk of, cut, of hitting that. So. I'm going to have to cut this little section here at the end, and that maybe that could be something that we can turn down later. So, it'll be from about right here back, I'll be clean. So let me cut that off real quick, and then I'll throw on some live cutting of this cedar. Okay, that looks much better. It now looks like a proper cedar log. So again, we'll go and throw through this, go through this real quick and, and cut these up, hoping the blade will last. It should. because there's a lot of uh, bark inclusion, stuff like that. If I cut them into one by fours, they're just gonna fall apart. So that would give them some structure to work with as well. Uh, very, very nice stack. Seems to be decently hard. I don't really see any soft spots. So this would make some uh, pretty cool furniture pieces. So having that set work, that set works really is a lifesaver when you're trying to cut a job like this because it's a lot of repetitive cuts it really didn't take that long um i could have cut a little bit faster if my blade was brand new 
but I've cut quite a bit of board foot with this thus far and then also cut through a lot of this stuff right here which had all sorts of sand dirt debris so interesting stuff they came out of there it was a as you can see a gnarly log but we we're still able to whittle it down to roughly an eight by ten ish cant which yielded some pretty nice boards i think the customers are going to be very happy and uh, again I, I enjoy making these videos if you enjoy watching these videos please let me know uh, please like subscribe channel is growing every day I, I always get on there and check see what i have like just over 1600 subscribers 625 or something like that and over half a million views so that's pretty cool I, i'm pretty happy with that thus far it's just something fun to do coming up soon this weekend we will have another searching for sawmills video this will be the third video uh, i'm going to go over and see a peterson yeah a peterson a slabber mill so again we are looking at all different types homemade mills store-bought mills uh, circle saws slabbers band saws you name it i mean there's nothing that's really off the table so we'll be looking at that hopefully i can get that filmed sunday afternoon if the rain holds off on us if it doesn't then i might have to wait a little bit longer i have used this mill before it is a very interesting mill it does cut very well it is kind of slow but it's very neat also we've got the build of the 1220 a lot of work's been done on that i've ordered everything my axle just came in today and it's not right i don't know how they sent me an axle it's missing a hub there's one hub on there it's it's silly but whatever please like subscribe we'll see you around thanks